Okay. So I guess we're moving on to the next question here. So let's drag this all away and work on the next question. So is zero an integer? So this is a very simple question. Um, when you think of the set of all integers, so um, we think of zero, yes, being in the middle, and then counting all whole numbers, both positive and negative. So those that is the definition of the integers, and normally, in more mathematical notation, this is the symbol. It's a Z with a little uh, slash through it. Not necessary to know, but it's basically the set of all integers. And we know that zero is one of them because an integer is defined as uh, any whole number that can be counted as long as it's not a fraction. So again, whole number is not a fraction. So for example, uh, we could take negative 105. Yes, negative 105 is an integer. It's a whole number and um, regardless of the sign it falls into the set of integers if we take something like three-fifths three-fifths is not an integer because it's a fraction so that's a pre pretty easy distinction between um, integers and what we call rational numbers so three-fifths would be a rational number negative 105 is an integer so um, this should be pretty straightforward in terms of the text-based answer and saying that right here there are two types of integers yes so there's positive integers and negative integers and then um, saying yes so the the neutral integer is basically what zero is it, it's a whole number obviously zero does not have a sign but because it's neither negative or positive it's considered neutral and um, it's it's basically the most unique integer of its kind so um, this one's right. The solution is correct. Good job.